let's suppose that on any given day, there'll be on average five completely random attempts to breach a particular computer security system. Then obviously on some days there are going to be more than five attempts, and on other days there are going to be less than five attempts. What we're interested in knowing is the probability of any specific number of attempts. For example, the probability there will be no attempts on any one day. We're also interested in things like the probability that there'll be more than, say, eight attempts on any given day. Well, this is a very common type of problem in risk assessment, where there are specific types of infrequent events happening randomly. Unfortunately, there's a very widely accepted statistical distribution called the Poisson distribution, which provides an accurate model of the results required in these types of situations. We mean accurate in the sense of corresponding to the kinds of observations that you would actually see in the real world. And in this short video, I'm going to explain how to use the Poisson distribution in a GINA risk. When you create a new model in a GINA risk, you'll see this blank screen. What we're going to do is select this icon, which will create a new simulation node. Go into Properties, and by default, simulation nodes are continuous, but we can switch that to integer because that's what we need for a Poisson distribution. And having defined that, when we select the node probability table, we can select from any of these predefined distributions which are relevant for integers. And the one we want is the Poisson distribution. And we're going to take the mean to be 5. Apply that. I'm also going to change some graph defaults here. So instead of showing it as between percentiles, I want to actually fix this to be in the range from 0 to 20. So I'll now run the model by selecting that. And there you can see the distribution, which if I drag this, there's the summary statistics, but if I hover over any one bar, I can see the individual probability. The probability is 0 is 0 0.0673, the probability is 1 is 0 0.3369, etc. The probability is 5 is 0 0.17547. And if I right-click and display summary statistics, and then expand this state list, I can therefore see the full distribution. But of course, I want to do something more interesting than that. I want to be able to find a Poisson distribution for any mean. So I'm going to select the simulation node again. And this time, let's call this average. By default, you'll see its probability table defines a normal distribution. Well, a normal allows negative values, so it doesn't really matter, but we might just want to change that to be a uniform distribution on that very large range. And I now want to link this to the Poisson distribution. And now, instead of having the mean defines a fixed value 5, I can right-click and select the parent average. And when I apply that, I've now defined distribution for an arbitrary average, but at the moment I haven't put an observation in there. So when we run this, it's going to look kind of weird. But as soon as I put a value in here, let's put a different value. Let's put, say, the value 7. You can see that we've got a new distribution here. If this was, say, I could put any value. It doesn't have to be an integer value. Let's suppose it's 1.5. then of course you'd expect it to be skewed towards zero, which it is. So all this is fine, but we can do even more stuff because although that gives us the full probability distribution, we want to find out things like what's the probability that this is going to be greater than some number. And so I'm now going to select a discrete node in this case. By default, that's Boolean. I'm going to call this, let's say, above threshold. Apply that and I'm going to link to that now. And I'm going to define this as an if statement. So if the parent is, let's say, greater than 5, true, else false. So now when I run this, telling me it's very unlikely to be above the threshold. I can change the way that looks by going to Model Graph Properties and showing 
smaller probability values be displayed. Now you see the value. But of course, this isn't particularly useful because I've fixed the threshold to be five. I want to do something like I did there, make it arbitrary. So just, again, take an arbitrary simulation node. And I'll call this, let's say, threshold. And I now can replace that five with the arbitrary value. Again, I'll right click and insert the parent, which is threshold, and apply that. So if I change the threshold to say four, it recomputes. And so there you have a completely generic Poisson distribution with some added features which make it easy for you to determine whether the distribution is above. You could also do it below a threshold or anything similar to that.